Well, hey folks, welcome to this video. Before we get into the video though, I wanted to say thank you to everybody for all your support this past season. Uh, we can't begin to express uh, you know, how much you guys have meant to us with following us on our social media and here on our YouTube channel. Um, you know, Christmas is just a couple days away. Obviously, I'm in my house here. We've got our tree up. We're excited about the holidays, and we hope you are too. You know, all of our partners have been working really hard, and if you haven't picked up uh, that last-minute gift, you know, reach out to all of our partners. We've, you know, they go across uh, and they support us all season long. We've got some promo codes. They're in the description of this video. Um, you know, food plot season's just around the corner. Our friends at Killer Food Plots uh, are eager to help you if you haven't getting your soil tested order that soil test kits now uh, while the weather's still somewhat warm if it is in your area and get that soil out there and get it tested get ready for the spring to plant um, you know cold weather's coming Altera Alpaca's got some great socks on sale right now um, and we've got a promo code that you can save some money to, with those um, you know reveal they've got the cameras they've got the cellular cameras going on scrape fix bison coolers i mean you can't beat that we're always drinking the coffee out of the bisons and uh, the coolers we use them for anything you know whether it's functions tailgates whatever the case may be and all the m amazing sponsors that we work with um, you know dusty w wing shooting preserve if you're in the pennsylvania area you want to book a hunt with mike and jen give them a call they're fantastic uh great people you're going to have a great time a lot of fun um <clears throat> you know just can't say enough raptor razor knives um you know just uh, amazing we're so we're so thankful to be able to work with all the partners that we do work with give them a check they're all in the description in the, uh, of the videos that we share with you and the last thing is folks hey if you're watching our videos thank you so much but if you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet go ahead and click it and join us follow us get up to date on everything that we're doing the shorts the the episodes that we do and leave some comments down there we appreciate the comments we look forward to them the the, the great positive feedbacks and we also look forward to the not so good feedback because we're not professionals we're just having fun sharing our adventures with all of you so we hope you guys are enjoying it we can't appreciate can't thank you enough for the support that you show us all year long um, and don't forget to click that subscribe button you know less than 20 percent of the people who uh, watch our videos are subscribed and we're continuing to grow and we can't do that without you help us get to that next milestone that's enough of this right now let's get to the last video it's the end of the pa rifle season i'm in the tree stand let's go see what happens <laughs> Well, good morning. <laughs> it's five o'clock. It is Saturday, December the 9th. It's the last day of the Pennsylvania rifle season. So, I'm heading out. I'm gonna head down to my cousin's farm and head to the hollow stand where I, um, as one of our Facebook followers, or somebody who watched one of our videos made a comment. It was a one day screw up, uh, is what they called me. So I'm gonna go back to the scene of a one day screw up and see if I can't make things right and make a good shot uh, if a deer comes within a decent range um, that I can do it. <clears throat> All the corn on that side of the farm is cut. <clears throat> they started cutting the corn on our farm 
yesterday. Um, I don't think they finished it, but um, I anticipate that that uh, that father and his sons are going to be down there today, being at the last day. There was other people on the farm earlier this week. Uh, we got uh, we got them on our trail cameras. Don't know who they were. Um, don't know if they have permission. Never saw them before. So uh, we did send that to our cousins, and uh, you know didn't hear back from them at least I didn't my brother may have and just been busy with work and didn't tell me but nonetheless I'm gonna go to the hollow stand I can only hunt till about 10 o'clock today I've got commitments with work and uh, then some things after that so I only have the couple hours this morning to try and uh, get a doe and then uh, that'll be it and then um, you know we got the late season so I'll definitely be out with the bow in the late season uh, trying to punch a tag or two if we can do it that's always a fun time i enjoy that so all right guys i'm gonna get going get down to the spot have a little coffee on the way and i'll see you when i am uh, walking back to the hollow stand all right everybody well i am down at the farm here my cousin's farm, that is. Just got uh, walked down to the fields here from the truck. Um, it's cool. It's not real cold. Probably mid upper 30s right now, and it's gonna get to the mid upper 40s today. So, but it's muddy, obviously, from all the equipment being in here with rain and whatnot we've had over the weeks. Um, so. I'll take a slow walk back. We're heading that direction. Straight across the field to our stand right at the top of the hollow. So uh, I'm going to go in, take a slow walk, get back there and get set up and I'll get with you once I'm in the tree. Alright folks, while well, I'm all settled in. Um, let's see what time it is here. Six o'clock, so I got 45 minutes to legal shooting, so. Um, didn't hear any deer run or snort or see any deer in the field, so. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. We're gonna see. Um, I would anticipate, you know, that uh, that family will be rolling in here any time now. So I'm gonna go dark and uh, have some coffee and uh, wait for sun sunrise. And hopefully we get a big doe come right here real early and we can get a good shot on her and she drops right here and we have short work of this hunt this morning so we'll see you guys at daylight all right it's 6 46 that's legal shooting a little dark down here in the hollow yet but i can see pretty well here in the field if something were to come out into the field right here. I watched uh, two, two of the family members walk down the road. They went into their box blind over there. I'm not sure if they dropped anybody off across from me here or not. Um, they, I think they came that way, so. I don't see any orange just yet, so we'll see, but I thought I might have heard some stuff walking down in the hollow here. So we'll just have to watch as it gets a little bit, a little bit lighter down in there to the sea.
folks it is 9 30 and i have not seen a deer at all there's been some shooting um david's had some action he had a uh, two young doe maybe 30 yards in front of him and then uh not long after that they kind of went down across the field in front of him down to the bottom by his ladder stand and uh, he caught movement as he was watching them to it from his left and uh, one of the one of our other big target buck big nine point come out of the tall weeds from the left and I uh, was going across he said he grunted at it and it stopped but it was just too far of a shot so we didn't take it and it went down towards his ladder stand down at the bottom of the field and uh, not long after that, we heard a shot on the neighbor's property over to David's left, and now there's a truck drove up into the field where, uh, uh, just just before where the shot was. So we're we're wondering if that buck might have circled back and one of the neighbors shot it, or maybe they shot something else. They definitely got something because they're driving a truck up to recover. So. I don't know guys, I think I'm going to start packing up because I have some commitments to go to today with work and whatnot. So uh, I'm going to start packing up. That's going to be it for my rifle season, I think. But I will be out in the late season with the bow on this farm, some different spots. And uh, on our farm as well, I got a doe tag for there and I got some doe tags for over here too. So we'll be back out. but. That's gonna do it for the rifle. So we'll be back in camo after Christmas. So we'll see you guys next time.